I have it all. I have the money, I have the friends, I have the family. But still, I feel like there's something missing. It may seem glamorous, but inside they are hurting. Inside they are insecure. Inside they are looking for somebody that can love them wholeheartedly. You do not belong to the streets, my girl. Come back home. Do not hurt yourself because somebody else hurts you. Want to find yourself? Find God. My royal babe. That beautiful time when you can finally express all your sexual frustrations and freedom anytime with whoever you wish. The stage where you are able to explore all your sexual preferences until you have to settle down to a life of boredom with just one man called marriage. This is a stage where every woman needs in order to truly find herself or is it? Let's find out. It was quite funny, right? You wouldn't expect me to be saying this. But I've seen a lot of girls on TikTok going around about their whole face. And let's watch it together. Their own face. Or go live your best life, LMU. It's so sad that, especially Gen Z girls, you really think this is your best life. It's just crazy. There are months of videos on TikTok on this. Hope you find peace for yourself. All face will fill the void. Girls after a breakup. Who are y'all? B. That well, her name is O Phase. This is my boy Trust Issues. Trust Issues. That's alcoholism. What is it? What's happening, coach? And that's don't care no more. It's actually so sad. Like they make it into such a like funny thing, but this is actually a really sad reality of a lot of girls and even guys after a breakup. Let's talk about the reasons that girls do it. After a breakup, usually after a breakup, a woman is left feeling used, she's left feeling insecure, especially if it was because of cheating. So the love and attention that they were craving from that guy, they, they still want it. So since they cannot get it from him, they will instead go to the streets to go and find that love and attention. See, like some of the girls were like, I don't care no more. They become the token bad bee who just sleeps around with guys with no strings attached. So she does not get hurt again. Usually because she, she's afraid of getting hit. But two, daddy issues. Girls with daddy issues tend to go through the whole phase because they are trying to find that fatherly love in guys. And to be honest, girls with daddy issues, it, they can either go one way or the other. Me, for instance, when I had daddy issues and the rest, I was more like, I don't want to have anything to do with guys. I don't want guys. But other girls would be like, they want that love from guys. So they will instead go to try to find it with different guys during sex they may feel love for how, however long it lasts if it's five minutes or whatsoever they might feel love in that moment because of the oxytocin bonding hormone that's released a lot in women so they might feel like they love this person and it just lasts as long as their sex lasts <laughs> and what well, the average is for eight minutes so they'll feel that love for eight minutes and it becomes like a rush they want to continue feeling that love from whosoever will give it to them. That's why they keep going from one man to the other. And to be honest, one man will say no to sex. So of course, they will start to sleep with different guys. It's not really because they intentionally want to go through a whole phase, but it's more because they are trying to find the love rush. My role model, right, is Brini Lee. And I, I just love her. And she spoke more on this. And she felt like because of her daddy issues, it also prompted her to do so. Three, this so-called women empowerment movement. I know this might be a few, but some women just want to go through a whole phase. Or maybe it's, it might not really be a whole phase, but sleep with them, as many guys as they want. Because they, they are basically saying F you to societal standards. But girls who can do that with no strings attached, it's not healthy. Because we women, we have emotions. That's how God made us. We are very emotional beings. So if you're able to remove your emotions from sex and just see it as casual, it means there's something wrong. There, there's something wrong with your bonding system i don't know to be from trauma from abuse number four looking for the love of god some women they might get the love or some people they might get the love from their families their friends but they might still feel that missing gap in them like it's like there's a missing link have you ever felt like that before that hmm i have it all i have the money i have the friends i have the family i have it all but still i feel like there's something missing there's a gap in my heart that is like it's meant to be filled. And that is God. It's meant to be filled by God. And that's why you feel like you're looking for that love. That love that will complete you. But you're not finding it anywhere. So you're trying to find it in men to complete you. That's why when they say that, 
your other half completes you. It's totally wrong because you are whole, you're complete with God. When you are born again, Jesus lives in you and you are a complete being. Your partner will only come to complement you, not complete you. But five, girls overlook during teenage. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of us can relate. You know, like when you glow up and like you intentionally want to glow up just to say bye to whoever guys that were looking down on you. That was me. <laughs> so like if you click the link above, I used to be very, very skinny and I was very insecure because Oh, I lived in Ghana too. I went to school in Ghana. And you know the Indian culture. Like they're calling me skeleton, calling me anorexic, saying ill to me. Like, I was the girl who hated her body. So insecure. Like, I'm but like I'm some da- death. <laughs> and yes, I was pretty. But it didn't matter. Guys, I was born in. Born in. Stick thing. Because of that, I always had a mindset that I'm going to blow up on these people. <sighs> yeah. But to be honest, that doesn't really help because because I was trying to, so hard to get weight, I became skinny fat. And then I had to use the skinny fat weight and I still have the sound, to be fair. And who was I hurting? Myself. So sometimes some girls overlook during teenagehood when they start forming into, you know, the woman cares and everything. And guys, guys start paying them attention. So they want to take advantage of the attention that they are getting. To replace the attention that they did not get when they were younger. So yes, they start to sleep with as many guys as they want because they can't get it. So because they know they can't get it, they want to go as much as they can just to say or just to prove to themselves that, yes, I get them in. And it's not their fault. I'm not trying to victim shame anybody or judge anybody. I thought that I had to do this topic especially because I saw on TikTok that when I was going through some of the whole face videos, one guy in the comments was like, but if I don't go through the whole phase after I break up, then what am I supposed to do? Just sit there and think about him. And that made me so sad. You know of the saying, if you want to get over somebody, get under another. That's, that's horrible. That's terrible. Because when you, you are trying to get over somebody, you are not over them. But because of the pain in the head, especially if you slept with them, you just want to forget it by going for another person. But what if that person also does the same thing to you? Then what? You try to go over that person by with another person? When will it ever end? You need to heal. Take time to heal. I spoke on it in my Soul Ties video. you see it above. But take time to heal. You need to heal. You deserve your healing. Okay? Until you heal, just forget about men for now. The last point is girls abused. So sometimes when girls go through things in their childhood like sexual assault and you know, all those kind of things. It's, it makes them feel like that's all they know. Like if, especially an older man assaulted them or whatsoever, it becomes like addictive. Like, you know, it's bad. You know, you were abused. You know, it's traumatized. But it's like, it's like a trauma bond that is bonding you to do what they were doing to you to continue it. Because that's all you know. These are some examples of people that were going through the whole phase. Speaking as somebody who went through the whole phase, during a time when I should have been playing with Barbies, it does nothing more than give you a false sense of confidence and power. When you're in it, guys will give you all the love and attention you want. You feel powerful that showing a little skin can get you anything you want. Today, I struggle with self-love, confidence due to that, but I still strive to be better and to raise my future child in a way that they never experience it or even want to. This is coming from a woman who went through the whole phase. So the question that you need a whole face to find yourself. You? From this one's perspective, and I mean, she will know better than me because she went through it. She said, you know, but let's move on. Maybe somebody else might say something different. I'm lonely and I have no friends. I am judged and all I want is true love. I live in a fantasy world where everyone just looks at me like I'm an idiot and it needs to come back to reality. I can never show my true self. When I am with a man, there's always the same procedures I have to follow. Say the right things, give the right stares, a touch here and there, I never get to be myself. No one knows the true me. Living a double life can be tiring. When you are a O, you have to uphold to a certain sort of bad B personality. Exactly. That's so true. Putting on a different face so that people don't see how much you're hurting inside. But that's not always me. Actually, that's never been me. It's draining. It's scary, but that's only when I care what people think. I've lost all my morals. 
by saying I'm doing it in the name of love. That's trying to justify yourself because when you are going through a phase like that, you know deep down that it's not right. You know deep down that it's not going to take you anywhere. And you know deep down that you're wasting your time and your body just to give to people that do not deserve it. You know deep down, but when your need for love conquers every morals that you have, then you start to justify it. But at least this girl knows. She knows what she's doing and she knows that it's wrong. So she'll get better. It's lonely, lonely because there's nothing like casual about sex. If you click my soul ties video, guys, you will understand because sex is not just casual. It's, it's physical, it's mental, it's spiritual, it's emotional. And yes, you are just seeing it as casual sex, but it's, it's actually all that. So imagine how you must feel, how conflicted you must feel that this is just casual. So why do I feel so empty inside? Why do I feel like something has been stripped away from me? And you see a lot of times girls will be like, it was just a one night stand, but why am I still thinking of him? I think I'll make a video on one night stands and hook up culture and yeah, things like that. If you want to know, please put it down in the comments below. Okay, now let's get to the reasons why you shouldn't have a whole face. So number one, nobody deserves your body until they have made a vow before God and given you two rings. What is the ring finger? I don't know what it is, but two rings. He does not deserve your body. You are a precious jewel. You are precious than rubies and gold. You might feel like you are not, but God says you are. So get back up. And don't give your body to just any undeserving guy just because you want to seek some love. Because that's not what love is. That, will, that short five minutes is not going to give you love. And you're going to keep craving it like a drug. But you're never going to find that fulfillment that you're looking for. God is the answer that you have been trying to find. You can only find yourself in God. So that hole in your heart that you're looking for. For that girl that is looking for that love. And so goes on the streets. You do not belong to the streets, my girl. Come back home. Come back to God. God is the one that can feel that longing that you feel in your heart. He's the one who can feel any void in you. Do not draw your pearls before swine. Your, your V, it's a pearl. It's a precious diamond. And those undeserving guys are swine because they do not deserve it. And because they do not know the value of your precious pearl, they are going to trample it under their feet. Like literally, if you, if you throw pearls, precious pearls in front of pigs, we don't know what it is. No, they're just going to step on it. You do not need to go through a whole phase. I know that social media glamorizes it with those bad B being flown on trips, you know. But like that girl said, it might seem glamorous, but inside they are hurting, inside they are insecure, inside they are looking for somebody that can love them wholeheartedly. Not somebody that is there one day and then the other is not there. So you have to go and look for another person just like those same people. Your appetite for different partners, it skyrockets. Depending on how many men that you sleep with in your whole face, it skyrockets. So it makes your V unable to adjust. <laughs> it, or you're unable to train your V to commit to one man. Or maybe even your brain or whatsoever. It's like okay. You become used to it. So you're like, how am I supposed to just commit to just a man? One man? When I've had dozen men, like a lot of men already. Like, how am I supposed to commit? And not being able to commit just these two issues in a marriage and can even lead to adultery. And this is for both men and women. Like, will one man be ever able to satisfy you? Think of that. Number three, sex is not just physical. It's spiritual, it's emotional, it's mental. Because a human being is not just a physical being. So, when you have sex with somebody, you become joined to the person in all those ways. And whatsoever diseases or mental problems like depression bipolar disorder whatsoever they had it becomes yours that's why sometimes when you see you sleep with somebody who has depression you don't have depression then all of a sudden you're like why do i feel so different why do i feel like i've changed and you start to get bipolar disorder from nowhere you start to get it's not just physical diseases you see so if you get if you are able to get physical diseases from sleeping with people then imagine the mental diseases you don't understand like guys this is not a joke that's not a joke. Like the Bible says, your body is the temple of God. And we should not be using our bodies for anybody just like that. Our body has, is sacred and it belongs to God. Number four, like the TikTok girls that go through the whole phase. Do not hurt yourself just because your ex hurts you. Why is it that you are deserving of the pain that 
in th the pain that he caused you, you are going to cause yourself even more pain. Why are you deserving of it? Hating yourself, that's not hating one bit. Who cares if you are doing it to make him jealous? You don't want him back anyway. So even if he gets jealous and then he's like, oh, you, you are getting so many guys or whatsoever, so I'm jealous and I want him to come back. You don't want him back anyways. If he's, he's cheated on you or that whatsoever to you, let him be, let him go. Let's say, okay, fine, he's jealous, but he does not do anything else. He's just jealous and you're just trying to show him that, yes, you get a man. And then what? Have you ever thought of that? Like, then what? You are the one going to get whatsoever disorder. You are the one going to feel used. You are the one going to feel all that. Not him. He might be jealous for a second and then go on to whoever else he wants to go on to. So just do, do not hurt yourself because somebody else hurts you. Instead of hurting yourself, heal yourself. So that you don't have to go for those same toxic guys or whosoever again. You need to heal. You don't need a whole face. That's what Brini Lee also said. You need to heal. So take the time. I also spoke more on Soul Ties. So please, you need to watch it after this video. To know how to heal yourself from those Soul Ties. So you do not go through a whole face because you're looking for that same kind of guy or the same kind of love or whatsoever. Number five, this is obvious. Sexually transmitted diseases, pregnancy and not knowing a father. You will literally go and be on Jer Jeremy Kyle or whosoever trying to find the name of the father. I watched one episode on Jeremy Kyle and the girl, the girl literally, her child, she just does not know who the father of the child is. So different men came coming on the show. And she kept pointing to the man that this is the father of my child because she didn't know. So how is that possible? How is that possible that you don't know the father of your child? It could, could have come from a whole face. And I'm not trying to blame her or victim shame because it's painful. I know. And I pray that she gets the help she needs. Imagine all the various diseases. we are syphilis, AIDS, there's that monkey box. Like, imagine. And you might say, oh, I might use a condom. But if I doing a whole phase which is numerous times how will you remember that you need to use a condom every time and condoms are not so guaranteed so anything could happen please my royal babe be careful if you if you are thinking of going through a whole phase just let, let number one tell you that no i shouldn't and if you become pregnant too it's another life you are destroying you know like some people don't think of the effects single motherhood or the baby mama culture or whatsoever has on the children a child deserves to have two parents in the household and me coming from a broken home i know how it feels how painful it is so imagine having a child in such circumstances and the child does not know the father and the child does not get the life that they could have if they had a two-parent household and the generational pattern continues that's why you have to be careful it all begins with us let us correct our mistakes so we don't send it to the next generation. <laughs> Number, you want to lose yourself fast in 10 days, like that, that movie, and what's it called? How to get money in 10 days. This is literally how to lose yourself in 10 days. Go through the whole phase. Well, it doesn't have to be 10 days. It does not empower you. You are just, you are disempowered, actually. You're going to start feeling insecure. You're going to start feeling, oh, so they only want me for, like, I'm only worth my V. And... Nobody can want to know my personality. No, nobody wants to know inside. You start to become broken. Okay, so does that mean that, oh, I've had a whole phase, so it's over? No. Your life, it's never over. And when God says it's over, it's never over. And that is never because you are alive. And he wants you. He wants to redeem you. So what should you do now? You need to seek a relationship with God to find yourself. And God will give you strength. If you're, you think you want to go through the whole phase because you were abused when you were younger or you want to go because you do not have attention or you, you've been through a breakup and you feel hurt, whatsoever reason, my royal babe, God can heal you and God God can strengthen you and he'll, he'll make whatsoever you've gone through be a thing of the past. Because when you have the love of God, his love is more than enough. You don't need to seek the attention of somebody else to know that you are loved. Because God will fill you up with all that. Like right now, I'm 24 and I, I'm like, I keep feeling it so lonely. But I do not feel unloved. I have a loving family, but I do not feel unloved. Even from maybe the own opposite sex or whatever. Because your girls' DMs are dry anyway, but whatever. Because I know God loves me. So that void in my heart has already been filled. 
and I just need somebody to compliment me at the right time that God will bring in. And that's why you do not need a whole face. So start seeking a relationship with God today. And it's easy. You just, just sit in your room. God is everywhere. And just tell God, God, I want to find you. I want to seek a relationship with you. I want to stop being an F or an O. And I, I don't want guys to just use my body like it's nothing. I don't want to be used and discarded. Please help me to learn to know you. Help me to seek a relationship with you. And you think God will not come to you. Just need your own words. God understands every language anyway. And he understands how you're feeling. So tell him that. That you want to be his child. That you want to be a royal. Just tell him that. And God is going to help you. And he's going to redeem you. He sent a son to die for you. What more can he do for you? And no matter what you've gone through, he'll be able to heal you. You want to find yourself? Find God. And you'll know who exactly you are in Christ. That's when you will to find your true identity and why God made you. And that's not to be an O. You are a wife, my dear. And even if you are not a wife, you are a child of God. You deserve it all. You deserve all the best things. Okay, number two, selling basically. Yes, like I said, you need to heal. But then, after a breakup, you need to heal. After you've broken up, I don't know how long you may have been with the guy. But like I said in my Soul Ties video, give yourself time. Like God says, the God wants us to wait till marriage anyway. So according to me, I would stay celibate. Tell the right man who will give me what I deserve, the ultimate thing that he can give me to show that he loves me, to show that he wants to be with me. It's commitment. If he has not given it to me, there's nothing for you. There's no pearl for you. So stay celibate. I know it might it might be too long, so just give yourself some time. That okay, maybe this time I'm going to stay celibate. And once you're staying celibate, you start to get closer to God. And as you get closer to God, it's not me that will tell you that you should wait till marriage. You will know that no guy is deserving of it. So give yourself time to stay celibate and heal. Therapy. Therapy too will be very useful in that time. This is for my virgins who might be thinking of going through the whole phase because everybody thinks they are prude or whatsoever. Wait until marriage. That's what your girl is doing. I know sometimes it's like, oh, the heck am I doing? Like, I'm old school or what the heck? Who, who is waiting till marriage? Who even wants virgins these days? But people might think that I'm a prude. But I'm able to avoid the depression that comes with the whole phase. I'm able to avoid the insecurity. All that. And I'm not saying I've never been through that. Because when I had my situationship and it ended, it was painful. So if I didn't have the mentality that, oh, I'm waiting till marriage. And, and to be honest, it's not me. It's God. <laughs> it's God. If I did not have the strength of God, I might have gone to the whole face because actually that time I was not getting attention. Just to prove to myself that girl, you get attention, you don't need that guy. I might go through the whole face, sleep with as many guys as I want. You see? Okay, number four. Forgive those who hurt you so you don't destroy yourself. That guy that hurts you, that toxic ex, that daddy that was not there for you, those boys that bullied you and did not give you attention, whosoever it was, Forgive them. When you forgive them, you're able to let them go because when you do not forgive somebody, it's you that you're hurting. It's like there's there's a term to to call unforgiveness, and I'll put it on the screen. You are just keeping that resentment in your head, heart, and you wanted to hurt somebody else, but it's just hurting you. And because of that resentment, you are trying to prove to yourself that you do not actually need them because you still have that hurt in you. So let them go. Because hate is also a feeling, you know. Hating somebody means, oh, uh, you have them on your mind. So let them go. Forgive them. Even pray for them. So that they will also repent. Kill them with kindness, basically. So that you'll be fine. So that you do not destroy yourself. So you do not have to think of them anymore. Or go into that same toxic cycle of going for the same guys again. And that includes your father too. Forgive him. My dad. He even though you're in my life. I forgive him now. Because not forgiving him is just hurting me and... Making me hate guys more. So now I don't mind anymore. I don't mind him anymore. If he says hello, I say hello. I pray for him. I pray he repents. So we get to heaven and see each other. I really do pray that for him. And all those guys that bullied me. <laughs> it's having the last laugh now. So why should I be there hating you? Like, you don't deserve my hate. So, tell that to your talk to the air. You do not deserve my hate. So I forgive you. You are not worth my hate. Point number five. Do not every woman who gets attention. You might think, oh, they might get so much attention. But 
those beautiful women, it's even harder to find the right man. Who, look at my mom. So it's Miss Ghana, like, she's more scrumptious. But because of that, it's harder to find the right man. And it's so much easier to go for the wrong man. Like how she went for my father. Me, for instance. Like, I might have... Yes, I... Nowadays, I don't know. It's like, psh, they are not coming. It's like, God is closing them, but whatever. But they used to be coming. A lot of guys coming, coming, coming. And because of that, well, that's why I went for that situation guy. But because of that, it's so much easier to choose the wrong guy. You are like, oh, 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 oh. so don't envy them. Right now, I feel God has been blocking every guy from coming my way. So I do not choose the wrong guy because literally no guys are there. But do not envy them women. Imagine how they must really be feeling inside because you just need one man. Oh. You don't need all these men giving you attention. Just one man. The man that will love you and cherish you for the gorgeous, precious jewel you are, my dear. My royal babe. You don't know what happens behind closed doors. And like I said, to know how to break them soul ties. So you don't have to go through a whole phase. Or the soul ties that you gain from the whole phase. Click the video that is coming up. In one, two. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe my royal babe. And follow me on all my platforms, my dear. Like, what are you doing? Hi guys, so this is my website. So that's the homepage. It's all about godly femininity. And the blog is more on a Christian take on social issues. Yeah, so please check it out. And become a certified royal babe by subscribing to the blog. See, like I did there, you put your email, you subscribe. Yes, and I'll see you in the next video. For God so loved you that he gave his only son. So you and I will believe in him and not perish, but have everlasting life.